What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Lala, Fly a.k.a. Away. Lachelle, Fly a.k.a. Away. Shell, Fly a.k.a. Away. Me, Shell, my bell, and me and my munchkin, one of two, because Abe is still at Mama's own house, <laughs> are cooking for you all today. I don't know how much of a helper she's going. Femi. Femi. I'll be back, y'all. As you all can see, I have become obsessed with the Allen Bar and Grill cooking system. So today will be no different. We are making the roasted lamb chop recipe and today I'm gonna use the recipe box. Wait until you see what's included. If you're anything like me, I know you're already curious. Okay, baby, we curious about what comes in the box. <laughs> well, let me tell you. First you get black pepper, then you get brown eggs, butter, cucumbers, scallions, garlic, garlic powder, heavy cream, jerk paste, jerk seasoning paste, lamb chops, lime, milk, olive oil, onions, paprika, potatoes. You get the roasted lamb chop recipe card HUD and the card, rosemary, salt, and sweet potatoes. I don't know about y'all, but my mouth is watering already, so let's get this party started, shall we? I already hit y'all with the list. Now it's time for the visuals. First up, we have the roasted lamb chop recipe HUD, and then you have the recipe card right next to it. The HUD you attach to your screen, the recipe card you hold in your hand. Next to that is the salt, paprika, extra virgin olive oil, the tail end of a cucumber, the milk, white vinegar, brown eggs then we have the thyme the lamb chops i think that's the jerk seasoning paste and then we have the heavy cream the jerk seasoning the butter the black pepper i think that's garlic powder over there next to the black pepper and is we have lime, fresh garlic, scallions next to that. And then I gave you a close up of the garlic. Look at it. Yum, yum, yum. Delicioso. <laughs> and now you have a close up of the garlic powder and the black pepper. Don't mind feeding me in the back. We have our potatoes, our sweet potato, onion, and tomatoes. I had to get, listen. Y'all not ready to eat yet? All right, I'll keep trying. Now you get a close-up of the scallions. Look how fresh they are. Gotta be homegrown and non-GMO. Gotta be. I know by now, just looking at the fresh ingredients, y'all mouths are already watering. So I'ma just take you into the next clip. <laughs> okay, y'all. Sorry, I had to take a mommy intermission real quick. Mommy? Hmm? What's the intermission? It means I had to take a break so that I could do what I needed to do for you. Oh. Can I finish my video now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So when we left off, our last ingredients was the potato cakes. And as you can see, it requires mashed potatoes. So I see roasted potatoes. Um... They're your mashed potatoes, so we know that at a minimum, mashed potatoes will be one of the prep dishes. And then I see the ingredients in mashed potatoes, they require boiled potatoes. So that's going to be another prep dish. So boiled potatoes, okay, so pota bo boiled potatoes only need water, potatoes, and salt. So that means there's no other prep dish. So for the last dish, we're going to have to boil potatoes first, then mash them, then we can get the potato cakes. So what I'm going to do first is all of our prep dishes. So we're going to wash our lamb, season our lamb, then we're going to cut our sweet potatoes, and I think all we have to do is cook those. So just cut the sweet potatoes, then we're going to boil and mash our potatoes. So let's get started. Okay, family, the first thing we're going to start with is our lamb prep. As you can see, I have my lamb chops, my prep bowl, vinegar, and my lime. Femi is also here with me, and she is prepping her vegetables. <laughs> Mommy, you're supposed to use your imagination. These for dinner. <clears throat> 
I meant to say Femi is going to wash our veggies for dinner. Right, Femi? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Femi, so you have to tell them what you have like I did. Well, guys, we have carrots, onions, um, um, corn, tomatoes, and, and, mommy, what's this? Asparagus. Um, yes, the asparagus. Um, Femi? Ma'am? How'd you get so much water in your bowl? How did you get so much water in your bowl? I did not pour that much in there. Um, the bathroom. Where from the bathroom? Because I know you didn't carry that big bowl full of water out here. I did it, Mommy. I used my cup to fill it up. Okay, from the sink? No. Femi. Ma'am? Did you get that water that you have on my counter right now? From the toilet? Yep. Femi, that's nasty. No, it's not. The toilet is clean, Mommy. You cleaned it, remember? Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we're back. Femi decided she wanted to take a break, and I wholeheartedly support her. What we're about to do is our lamb prep. And as you all can see, I have lamb chops here, a lime, vinegar, and my prep bowl. So there are two bowls. You have the prep bowl and the large prep bowl. As you can see, based on the recipe on the side over here, you just need the regular prep bowl. One thing I'd like to point out is for some of the appliances to recognize items, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a few seconds, some of them you can just have them resed out and others, which you can see, it'll be indicated by you having the option to touch it. So you see how it's arrow, arrow, finger. When you see this, that means that the appliance won't recognize the item like this. You have to click it. It'll deliver what you need to you and then you res it out. Like I'll show you with the vinegar, you click the bottle. You see, it tells you how many servings you have. I have four left and it tells you it's an ABG product. So when I click the vinegar, I get four options. Vinegar to give me the item, anyone, and that's giving anyone permissions to use my vinegar. Group permissions or a whitelist. A whitelist is just saying, hey, allow the people on this list to have access to my vinegar. You'll see that in the food items with ABG. So I just clicked vinegar and it delivered the cup that you see right here. Let me bring it out. It's just a little cup, but it's cute because if you watch cooking shows, it's like the same concept. But anywho, so you get the cup of vinegar and how we are going to be able to prep this dish is click the bowl. You'll get a menu. You get two options. <laughs> you can exit or get a recipe. We're going to click get recipe. And then because this prep bowl can be used for many dishes, you have to select your particular recipe. Even though it's prep, you select your particular recipe from the menu. So we are doing lamb chop prep. As you can see, it's not any of these. Let's see. Doesn't look like it's any of these either because you got goat, lobster, oxtail, oysters, pork chop, pork ribs. Okay. Not here either because you got pork belly, red snapper, salmon, shrimp, rice, hominy. Jeez. Um, <laughs> it's not in this part of the menu either because we got cow foot, coated pig leg, chicken leg, excuse me, pigtail, salad prep, strawberry prep. Ooh, fruit salad. I think we need to make a fruit salad next, next video, y'all. And here it is lamb chop prep and then it tells you it tells you what the dish what's the result dish that you'll get once you're done and how long it's going to take so i'm going to click number two and then i will get hold on y'all i got conversation i need to close up all right <laughs> then i will get information in the local chat and it says whispers finding ingredients please wait five seconds now what you want to do is this is my personal preference compare what you see on this blue screen to what you see here on the recipe because sometimes if there maybe is a bug or you didn't res what you needed to <laughs> y'all my sister telling me she's back or you didn't res what you needed to then 
you need to catch it right here because if you try to pursue the recipe without the right ingredients, those y'all who watch my stream know, hello, if you try to pursue the recipe without the right ingredients, it will eat up your stuff and you'll have to start over. But that's just like real life, right? When you put stuff together in a recipe and it's not the right stuff, usually it doesn't come out tasting too good and you got to toss it and you lose the ingredients. So same concept. So I'm looking and it says lime, lamb chop, vinegar, which is all of the things here on the recipe list. So now I'm just going to click the number. Numbers. And as you click them, you'll see them disappear from your workspace. That means the appliance is processing them. So next. And as you can see, it just basically counts down. It was one, two, three. Now it's one, two. The next pop up should be one. Well. <laughs> so now that we did the last one, it's the moment of truth. Again, y'all need to be watching my streams on Kick where I do this live, meaning you catch all my hiccups, all the drama, the tea, the giggles, all of that is on Kick. So what you want to hope for is a button that looks like this, because if you do it wrong, nothing will be here. And the only buttons you'll have is menu and exit. That means you did not do whatever you was doing correctly. Like an ingredient is missing. It could be a bug, but more than likely, because I've seen the owners of the ABG cooking system working very hard to make sure they fix it, each and every hiccup that they find. Usually it's you. Because usually it's me. <laughs> so you want to click that prep button. And as you can see, it's talking to you in local chat the whole time. Every time it searches the ingredients, it tells you. And then once it starts processing, it tells you. See, now it's like, let's unpack our lamb chops for cleaning. Another thing I'd like to add is I am standing on the animation mat, which is not mandatory, but it enhances the role play element of it. Y'all see Femi over there. And so here are some of the options. I'm going to do the wash meat. See, and that res is a bowl. Again, if you want to do the role play options for you to see it, but you don't have to. And you can have your bowl right here, right? Like for video sake, I could take and move my prep bowl out the way while that cook. And I can simulate washing my meat. Now, this is for all of you video people, the video girlies and boys, for all of you who need the visual aesthetics, for those of you who like to take pictures, here's your option. So this is washing the meat. And because it's generic, it doesn't raise a specific meat. It's just to give you the animation and the props. So again, you see the prep bowl talking to you in local chat the whole time, basically emoting what's supposed to be going on in the prep dish. And one of the things you'll notice in the appliance is it breaks things down by time and stages. So this takes two minutes and there are four stages that it has to go through. So now you tell you it's preparing you for the next stage. We've already done three or four. So now we're about to wrap it up. And what I can deduce just from looking at this is that stage four is only 30 seconds. So with four stages in two minutes, it looks like each stage for this is only 30 seconds. And our meat will be prepped for the next step. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next clip where we season our lamb chop. All right, y'all, so we are back. Our lamb chops are clean. We have the ingredients out to season them, which include olive oil, the jerk paste seasoning, salt, paprika, and garlic. Now, what I wanted to show y'all is you already see that I have the salt rezzed out which I'll give you a closer look of all the ingredients. So you have the extra virgin olive oil, the jerk seasoning paste, paprika, salt, <laughs> and that is the jerk seasoning paste. So I don't know if it's supposed to, if I'm supposed to have both of them rezzed or just one, but I guess we'll see, right? And here is what our washed chops look like. Okay. And then we have garlic. And so what I wanted to show you that's a little bit different than last time um, is, well, one, we're using our large prep bowl versus the regular size. So I already have the regular size over there in the sink. Um, and we have a variety of ingredients now. So we have some that can just be rezzed out, some that you need to click, and different things like that. So the salt comes in a container just like the paprika. In fact, you can see it back here on my seasoning shelf if y'all see the finger over on the right. It'll come out like this, and I'm going to do it for the paprika. Same concept as with the vinegar. You get the option of the item giving anyone access, giving the group access, or giving specific people access. So I'm just gonna click paprika, 
and it's going to tell me what I have available. All of these are indicative of the servings that I have in this bottle of paprika. I have bunches of bottles of paprika, so and I use it a lot. So I just raised one random bottle. Um, and then, as you can see, boop, there's the bowl. The salt comes in the same container as the paprika, and this is how they come out when you get your servings. So let's do our finger test to make sure there is nothing else that we have to click. So if any of these have a finger over it, nope, we just leave the olive oil as is, this jerk paste as is, this as is, salt as is. The only thing that has the paprika and we already clicked that, we leave the lamb chops as is, and oh, look, the garlic has the finger over it. So that means you have to physically res something. Make sure you check this every time. And as you can see, this is the garlic that rezzed when I clicked the packaging. And now it is time to click our large prep bowl. Again, you can figure out which appliance you need by simply looking at the recipe. It tells you the appliance you need, how many servings you're gonna make, how long it'll take, and the items you'll need, of course. So I clicked my bowl, get recipe. We are doing seasoned lamb chops, so let's see. We already know it's not in the first three. Oh no, it's actually in the next one. Okay, there it is y'all. Lamb chop season, it takes two minutes and five seconds. So I'm gonna press number three. All right, and then let's see if it picked up all the ingredients. So it picked up the jerk paste, just like it says we need, the paprika. Yep, it picked up the garlic. Yep, it picked up the olive oil, it picked up the salt and lamb chops. So it looks like we have the six ingredients as listed on the recipe. So it's time to click y'all. And just like the last time, you'll get a bunch of notifications in your local chat. And by notifications, I mean emotes that's telling you what's happening as the bowl processes your ingredients. So first it has to pull everything and then it'll go step by step and tell you how many stages it has and so on and so forth. So let's just go ahead and breeze right through this thing, okay? Because we already know what we're looking for. Okay. And as you can see, the countdown has begun. It went down from the six ingredients to now. All right, y'all. So this is the button we wanted to see. This is what I came to see. Okay. Um. Remember, if you have this blue space over here, <laughs> the only option you have are main menu and exit. Abort mission. Something is wrong. So I'm going to click prep and let's see what it says in local chat. Oh, it's telling you, let's season our lamb chops packed full of flavor. We want to use a hand towel to pat dry our remaining lamb chops because remember, we just washed them so they're wet. Let's see. So there's three stages for our two minutes and five seconds. So that is going to continue to process and it's gonna take you through. For this particular video clip, I'm gonna to read to you some of the things that it says in local chat, just for fun, right? And then in the next clip, we just gonna breeze right on by. So after we have packed the lamb chops dry with our hand towel, we add our dry seasoning and give our chop a good massage because you want that seasoning to seep in. You don't want it to fall off into the pan as soon as you start cooking it. You want it to marinate in the meat as much as you can without physically marinating it prior to cooking it. All right, the next thing says add a spoonful of jerk paste and drizzle a driz with a drizzle of olive oil to make sure every part is coated. All 
All right. We can use this now or set it aside to marinate it for later use. As use, use this as part of another recipe ingredient. Great job, we have it prepared. Now, every time you get done using an appliance after it collects your ingredients, you should get some sort of item sent to you. So now we have our seasoned lamb chop, which we are done prepping the lamb chops. So we're gonna move on to our sweet potato prep because I'm gonna do all of the preps first and then I'm gonna finish it off with the main dishes. Okay, everyone, so we only have one thing to do for our sweet potato prep, and that is slice them. Luckily for us, sweet potatoes render three servings, just one potato, and so we are about to get our chopper on the stink. So let's click our board. Your recipe. Um, nope, none of these. There you go. It says sweet potato slices take two minutes. So we're gonna click number five. And while it finds our ingredients, yep, look. It recognizes our sweet potatoes. It tells us it has three uses because you need all three servings for the sweet potato slices. So we're about to go ahead and do that. Okay, family, so while the chopping board appliance is picking up the three usages from the sweet potato, I just went and stood on the ABG animation mat, and that's how you see me slicing the potato. The appliance itself does not give you this animation, but the mat does. So while the mat is not mandatory, as you can see, it absolutely adds to the role play experience. And now that the chopping board has picked up the three usages, it's time to chop, 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 chop to chop. All right, ladies and gents. So I don't know if y'all can see, but to my left, but your right, I have my potatoes and salt already out. But as you can see, according to the recipe card, you also need cups of water. And I'm gonna show you how I get my water with ABG. So this is the ABG water filtration system. And this is where you get your water for both drinking and cooking. There are two different types of cups, so make sure you have the right one. These white cups are your water cups for cooking, and then these clear cups are your drinking cups. So what you're gonna do is click the filter, make sure you have your cups nearby, and then just like the other appliances, get recipe. And then see, you have two options, cold water cup or drinking water. The cold water cup is for cooking. So we're gonna click that. And as you can see on the recipe, you need two. So we'll have to do this twice. And then it tells me it recognizes my water cups and it says I have 81 usages. So I have 81 cups, right? I'm gonna click one. And then there's one more thing. Well, yeah, y'all know these buttons are the buttons of life. These buttons mean a W. You got it right. That means you won. <laughs> so next we're going to click four. And I will show you local chat. And it says, gathers a cup of water. Please res out cup of water when you want to use it in the recipe. And just like that, it's done. And there is our cup of water. So I'm going to do this a second time because like I said, we need two, but it's probably gonna go a little faster because now I'm just getting it out. So we can figure it out, figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pour it. Pour it up, pour it up. Watch it all fall out. Y'all see the water animation? Okay, and we have our second water cup, y'all. So here are our ingredients. You have your potatoes, your salt, and this time I left the salt container out so you all can see, and your two cups of water. Aren't these cute little measuring cups? And guess what, y'all? It's time to boil these potatoes, because what are we waiting for? So as you can see, the recipe calls for a large pot. And we're gonna click Get Recipe. And we are looking for boiled potatoes. I see boiled corn. Up, oh, boiled potatoes, 16 minutes. So we're going to hit that. And it says, which you already see the recipe, but 
is picking up everything, our two cups of water, our potato, and our salt. Let's get it, let's go. And one thing I don't know if you all noticed about the recipe card that's up here, that ABG updated the website to highlight the prep dishes that you need for each item. For example, with this recipe, you need two water cups and you have to get that water from a separate appliance so it makes it a prep dish within the prep dish. So they highlighted in bold so that you know, hey, the water cup is something I have to go do separately. It's not necessarily an ingredient I just purchased. It's something I have to actually go do. So shout out to ABG for making that update. And this is why I encourage you all to join me on my kick streams. I'm learning the system with you. I don't get like no special tutorials on the back end. Everything I have access to, you have access to. So in these streams, sometimes I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> but the creators are there watching and they've identified bugs there and steps to make things easier for us as the consumer, as long as you give them actionable information. And by actionable, I mean give them specifics. Don't just say, I don't like this or I wish this was better. Give them examples. From their perspective, they understand the system. They came up with it. They need to know from a consumer perspective what could be improved. So make sure y'all are taking advantage of that, being respectful and honest. All right, y'all, so the very last prep dish for the potato cakes is mashed potatoes, and we have all of our ingredients laid out here on the counter. As you can see, we have butter, the potatoes we just boiled on the counter, a cup of milk, garlic powder, black pepper, and scallions, fresh scallions, baby. So we are going to combine all of this in the bowl. In the next clip, you're gonna see me mix, 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 mix my mix. And again, I'll be using the ABG animation mat. So it is time to get our recipe. Uh, mashed potatoes, and it only takes two minutes. So let's click number five, and then it'll start picking up the ingredients. Yes, I did the click test, so I'll show you what you need to click. The butter, the milk, the garlic, the black pepper, and the scallions. The only thing you don't click is the potatoes. So see, arrow, finger, arrow, finger. Don't click, click. <laughs> so let's see if it's picking up all of our ingredients according to our recipe and it is so let's get started y'all let's get it started get it started in here get it started let's get it started in here let's get oh oh y'all just <clears throat> let's try to get let's get here because baby what is that <laughs> Y'all listen, it's been a long day. I've been running my mouth on the phone for hours. Bear with me. <laughs> my, my voice is a little shaky. <laughs> so we are on our last few ingredients for our mashed potatoes, which is the garlic powder and the boiled potatoes. We almost there, almost there. All right, y'all, let's see. Cause we're almost there. <laughs> All right, y'all, yes, we got that mix button. That means the ingredients were right. We got that mix button. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's mix. <laughs> Look at the flick of that wrist, that wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist, that wrist. Look at that <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna keep on mixing this and I will come back to y'all once I have mixed it all up. We only have one more prep dish left um, and that is to slice cucumbers for the garnish, but I feel like that's not necessary. Necess that, 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 <laughs> I feel like that's not something I need to do on camera. So the next time y'all see me, I'm probably gonna be washing dishes, y'all, because the sink is gonna be full after this, so. See you in the next clip. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I gotta wash these dishes, honey, because as you can see, we got a sink full. Femi is supposed to be helping me, but I think she mad, so she just washing her own dishes. I will get back to y'all when it's time for the next dish because after. I do this. I'm going to cook all the main dishes at the same time. 
I'll pray for them. <laughs> and I'll work on the garnish while they're cooking. All right, y'all. See you in the next clip or whatever. All right, family. So these are the ingredients for our potato cakes. We have the mashed potatoes we just made, some heavy cream, salt, black pepper and egg and scallions and then the other side of the counter we have the ingredients for our sweet potato wedges which are the potatoes we sliced rosemary salt black pepper and olive oil which also gets cooked in the foil pan and i'm actually going to try to cook them at the same time to see how that works out for us i'm going to pop them in the oven and i'm gonna pray that they come out good so i'm gonna see y'all when it's time so put them in the oven <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm not gonna lie, I chickened out. Once I started the first foil pan, it picked up all of the ingredients and I was so worried about messing up the recipe that I finished the sweet potato wedges first and then I put my ingredients back out for the potato cakes. But as you can see, they are both in the oven and cooking just fine. Now, you don't need the oven. It is literally just a prop. The foil pans cook on their own, but you know, aesthetics and whatnot <laughs> so let's move on and get the lamb chops done so that way all we have to do is the garnish and then the tray is gonna be done all right family so we have the ingredients here for our roasted lamb chops we have our seasoned lamb chops that we cleaned and seasoned we have thyme rosemary our two servings of olive oil salt and fresh garlic so let's slide on over to the frying pan shall we okay so we hit our get recipe button and it's not any of these things i think i missed it y'all let me go back yeah, it was right there. So roasted lamb chop, which is number three. And let's see if it's pulling up all of our ingredients according to our recipe. So we have seasoned lamb chop. Yep. We have salt. Yep. Rosemary. Yep. Garlic. Yep time yep and then we have both of our olive oils so it looks like it is time to get this thing on and crack <laughs> so we got our first ingredient our second ingredient you know we have that five second wait period between each ingredient i am cooking by the way in the large frying pan as you see on the recipe Mm-hmm. Then, all right, y'all, so we are waiting for the magic button. Y'all know which one I'm talking about? The one that says what? Frying, you know what I keep in the line and do, 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 better song <laughs> just kidding. All right, y'all, it's time to let that thing cook, and I will see you when it's time to make our garnish, baby. All right, y'all, so as you can see, we are on our second to the last dish, basically the dish we make before we combine everything. I have my sliced onions, my sliced tomatoes, my sliced cucumbers, and my lime. Now, the great thing is the only thing that required actual prep was the cucumbers, and it's just the cucumber and the chopping board. As for the onions, you click it and it gives you sliced onions and the same thing for the tomatoes, the lime, you don't need to slice anyway. So again, out of all the things on this tray, the cucumber is the only thing you have to physically slice. Everything else, you can click the actual vegetable and it'll come out sliced already. So let's go ahead and make this garnish, shall we? All right, y'all, let's see, get recipes, y'all already know. Uh, garnish and it only takes 15 seconds and I am using one more time <laughs> the ABG animation mat and that is how you see me physically chopping this stuff up and it picked up our lime it's only four ingredients lime onion tomato and cucumber so this should be quick and easy you see the ingredients disappearing 
Our lamb chops are still cooking in the back. Our sweet potato slices just finished and so did our potato cake. So I'm grateful because everything else will still be hot and our garnish will be fresh. So once I come back, I will be showing you all the main dish and that's when I combine everything together. I'm so excited. It's making me hungry, y'all. All right, y'all, now it's time for literally the easiest part of the recipe, <laughs> the tray, which puts everything together. So we just gonna click it, just like all the other appliances, get recipe, and we are doing the lamb chops. Either I missed it, or we got some clicking to do. I see curry chicken, callaloo. Where are these lamb chops, y'all? I think I missed them, because I'm sure I've seen these already. Because I think the pancakes was like the first one, wasn't it? Okay, fried chicken, roasted lamb chop. Y'all, I definitely missed it right here, number three. So we're going to do the roasted lamb chop tray. It takes five seconds. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> what? Go back. I said number, oh, because I hit next, child. Number three. Watch this. <laughs> For real this time. All right, y'all see it's pulling everything from our delicious looking sweet potato wedges, our potato cakes, our garnish, and our lamb chop. Play along where kids come to play along. <laughs> Okay. Okay, everyone, we are done. This is our roasted lamb chop tray with our potato cakes, our sweet potato wedges, our roasted lamb chops, and last but not least, our garnish. I did pull out my pink dragon fruit drink that I made previously on another live from the freezer and defrosted it. And we're going to sip on that today. All right, y'all. I know this was a long video. So thank you so much for sticking it out with me. The only reason it was long is because it's a tutorial. My regular videos are going to be completely in character. So you won't hear me say, rest this. Or do that you'll hear me say you need to go to the store and get you some of this it's going to be regular cooking videos just like y'all are used to me doing again this one was longer because it's a tutorial and i was actually showing you how to use the appliances in the future y'all i'm not going to do that it's going to be all about presentation fun aesthetics and staying in character so role play um if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. I am by no means an expert, but I have been using the system significantly over the last week or so. Please come join my kick streams. If you don't want to see anything else I stream on kick Sunday after church, probably about two or so hours, we make Sunday dinner. Last Sunday, I made Sunday dinner and people even came over and, and ate it. Okay, so... <laughs> We have a good time over there. Um, so if, you know, some people don't want to go to Kick because they're like, well, I want to see Second Life content. I literally stream Second Life on Kick. I will not be doing as much streaming on YouTube, um, at least not for a while, because I want you to come to Kick. I prefer Kick because I have a lot more freedom than I do on YouTube. On YouTube, we kind of got to act like we on the PBS channel, whereas on Kick, we grown over there. So... Please, 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 if you haven't already, come join me. If not for anything else, come join us on Sunday dinner. Um, I thank you all so much for supporting me as you have done thus far. Um, what else do I want to say to y'all? Oh, some takeaways. So, I don't know if I bought my recipe box too early because I did do that last time. Uh, one of the recipes I bought before they were able to go through it and update the box. And so I had some issues with ingredients missing. On this one, the only issue was I didn't have enough olive oil. So olive oil is cheap, but I didn't have enough. So I ended up having to go to the store and get more olive oil. 
again, I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and get into this thing real, real quick. Show you how the tray works. Since it's the end of the tutorial, all you do is click the tray. And then it gives you the option, just like all of the other items, well, the ingredients. And then you click lamb chops, and it tells you all four plates. So these buttons are indicative of how many servings you have, even though it tells you right over the thing, too. So I selected the plate. Uh-oh, maybe I took too long. Did it time out on me? No. Where's my plate, y'all? Hold on. Technical difficulties. Oh, it rezzed under there. Oh! Oops. <laughs> See? That's why we need a tutorial, y'all. So the last tray, the plate rezzed on this side of the tray. But this one, the plate rezzed in front of the tray. Either way, we love it. So here is the food. Don't mind Femi, she got her sick and nuggies and her gamer over here. I'll make her turn it off. I know somebody getting ready to be like, why is she playing with a game at the table? I just need her to be quiet for the video. She still feels some type of way towards me because I dumped out her toilet water. So let my baby live. Anywho, y'all, there are our sweet potato wedges, our roasted lamb chop, our potato cakes, and the garnish. I'm about to go tear this up because this ain't no mook bomb. But if y'all want one, you know all you got to do is let your girl know. <laughs> all right, family. Peace.